What's happening, man? Boss Golf back with another update video for Soul Calibur 6. We just got some characters recently announced in this trailer released by um, the channels on YouTube from Bandai Namco. And we have four character reveals that are going to be in the next game, which are the new character, which is Grow. This is the double blade, double. Uh, I, I don't know how to describe this sword. The, the, the double uh, bladed weapon. <laughs> Just the best I can do. Excuse me, man. The one we saw in the beginning trailer. We have Nightmare. We have Shang Shang Shua. I never know how to pronounce that name. And then we have Keelik. Uh, just given my initial thoughts on this trailer, I think I've watched it like four times already. Trying to go through look at the char characters' moves and things like that, make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, just going from the beginning all the way to the end. First of all, with Gro, I like his move set. He looks cool. He looks like he has a lot of combo potential. Like I, I like the way his move set is, and I like how you can take his blade apart. I don't know if that's uh, that's for certain moves or if that is like a character stance, how a lot of characters in the game have character stances. But it looks like you can take his blade apart and go into a dual wield, kind of like how um, Cervantes has a dual wield, of course not being the same move set, but you get what I mean. But I like how I, I like that. That was pretty cool. And then it opens up for uh, more moves and more combos and things like that. It also shows in this trailer that he has somewhat of a transformation. I'm not too sure. Uh, nobody's sure, but I'm not too sure about this character. So I don't know what all he entails. I don't know what this transformation does. But it looks like he has some kind of uh, transformation. It might give him more moves. It might give him uh, damage bu uh, buffs and things like that. So I don't know. We'll have to be on the lookout. Then it also shows his super here in the game, which looks pretty cool. Then moving on, the next character we see is nightmare which i like his costume in this one um correct me if i'm wrong but someone did say or there was a uh, talk of how these characters were uh their costumes were from the game that was being rebooted and so um we were going to see elements of those costumes back then kind of like how with mitsurugi's costume resembles his costume from an older game um Nightmare's costume here looks kind of new, and I like it. It kind of it, it has elements of old Nightmare, but it also has some new elements too. I can tell with the cape and um, kind of the way the certain parts of his armor look. And I like the way it looks. I've always thought Nightmare's armor, or, or Nightmare as a character in general, was pretty badass. Was pretty cool, and I like uh, that he they still keep up to that. They still find a way to make him. Uh, look cool, make him look uh, fiendish or ghoulish in some sort of way and, and, and have it have that type of effect. And then also his super is fucking ridiculous, man. He comes out on a goddamn soul horse. I mean, every every t every game, he gets some kind of crazy shit that, that's just like over the top. And it, it's actually pretty cool. I like playing with Nightmare. He was always one of my favorite characters to play with in the Soul Calibur series. And then next up we get Shang Hua. Uh, I never... I have never like avidly wanted or tried to play with this character, but for fans of this character, I'm pretty sure they didn't disappoint and they kept her the same throughout the entire thing. So there's not really, really too much to comment on that because I'm, I'm I'm not a fan of that character. I honestly don't know I I don't know too much about that goddamn character. So that's that on that. But um, I, I guess I could say it did good overall. And then Keelik is brought back um, seeing usual Keelik moves moves that we've seen throughout uh, most of the game or at least the, mo the, the most recent games he looks pretty cool I've always liked playing with Keelik the only thing that I was confused about and that that uh, that upset me in the previous game is uh, the fact that I guess it was cool that they made him an, ed um, uh, an edge master but the only thing about that is is it was random if you got his actual move set instead of that they gave it to Kiba. Um, but in this one they brought him back. It's it's uh, old style Keelik. Keelik was a I don't know if I don't think I can say he was a favorite, but I I did play with him a lot. And he was always fun to play. And we get to see his super which looks pretty cool in the damn game. But something else we get to see in this game is Keelik has a transformation. 
Now, I don't know if this is like an extra super or if this this is one of those things that they usually have in like fighting games where if your health gets low, low to a certain amount of point, you can transform or anything like that. Or I, I don't know, but <laughs> just going off of how it looks in the trailer so far, it's something new and it definitely is something unexpected. There's little to be seen here from it so um there's not really much to talk about but like going off of the initial reaction he grows fucking hair um it goes into like this rage mode i don't know if they're going for like a evil you or a devil gen type of thing here but it's 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 likely and it's highly possible considering they're both made uh, at least with the devil gen thing they're both made by uh the same company the same game producers so uh, and then you see, like, it, it's a special that he's going into here. So, I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's just a special or if it's actually an extra character we get to play with or if it's a transformation with inside his moveset. But, of course, we'll see more. I know there's supposed to be gameplay uh, of this at EVO in Japan this year. And then there's also supposed to be gameplay of EVO in the U.S., this year as well so we'll definitely see more of that um e3 um the, all all the game conventions and things like that they'll be showing a lot of people are excited about this game and i am too it's pretty cool to see only thing i've noticed about this trailer that kind of has me like uh, is i noticed it the most within keyless gameplay is that there's barely any sound effects on the hits inside of the moves in the game i don't know i i think i i'm, I'm gonna say i'm gonna say it'll it was probably because maybe the music that was dubbed over the trailer is probably a lot louder than the actual gameplay of the game so that could do, be a lot to do that could have a lot to do with it but i did notice that like the sound effects were kind of not impactful like they didn't sound like anything was happening or anything was going on i don't know if that's just like the engine in the game like i said i don't know if that's the way the trailer was set up and how the sound effects and shit were going but if not, I'm hoping that can get fixed to where it, it, it sounds like, I don't know, they, they, when the hits hit, I want them to sound like they're hitting, not, uh, Keelik did kind of like his, uh, his move there, and it just, it did, it, it made little no noise, so that really was like, uh, oh, what's going on there? Um, hopefully it's a thing, one of the cool features in Soul Calibur 5 that they, that I like that they had is that you have the ability to, to have the sound effects go from like, uh, they sound, they can sound unrealistic, like hyper unrealistic, like really anime-ish or video game-ish, or you can have them sound like as close as possible to real sword sound effects and sword clashes and things like that. So if this is how it sounds inside of the game, uh, for Soul Calibur 6, like as far as the hit clashes and things like that, I'm hoping there's that option, they bring that option back to uh, have you be able to interchange between the uh, options of the sound effects, because that that was pretty cool. I, I've always liked that feature, I don't know why, that was just uh, a little something extra that always did it for me when it came to that game. But that's this trailer, guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comment box down below for Soul Calibur 6. Which one of you guys' characters which one is your favorite character that you've seen in this trailer? Which characters aren't that? Ha which characters haven't been announced that you guys uh, are expecting or hoping to come back in the future? And any other expectations and things for this game? Like I always, let you guys know. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so that way, when any more information comes out about Soul Calibur 6, you all will be the first to know. And I'll definitely do my best to keep up with this game and, and keep dropping information for as long as inf there's information for it until the release of this game later on this year, which uh, is right around the corner. It's pretty cool. So we, we can say that this game is pretty much uh, close to being finished. It's almost done. So other than that, you already know what to do, man. Boss Golf, talking about some Soul Calibur 6. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box down below low and y'all already know what to do get them schlongs long them clips tight and i will see you see the hoes on the flip one peace